five scariest things caught on camera. Hold on, let's see one or two. Five scary things caught on camera. I, I want to hear what you say though. Did it crash? Oh, it did crash. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. And this passenger also managed to walk away from the crash with no injuries. It looked like it, luckily it hit some bushes. Engine failure, which forced the crash landing. Pinery Bush Fire was a massively destructive wildfire that burned for seven days through Southwest Australia. In this sure. clip from the dash cam of a fire truck, we see firefighters drive into the heart of the fire in an attempt to stop the blaze. Unbeknownst to them, the fire has changed direction and is now moving toward them at a shocking rate of speed. What follows is a chaotic and scary scene caught on camera. That, that, that's got to be fucked up. Wildfire. That's bad, dude. I mean, you want to help people and you want to turn off the fire, but that's also really bad. You'll get smoke inhalation. What's the worst forest fire than that? <laughs> Gross. Gross, bro. Gross. <laughs> oh, is that fire? Oh, shit, dude. Dude, it's like purple bluish fire. Shit, dude. They're still fine? can be heard telling the others that they're going into quote burnover. We're gonna go into burnover. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. This is a procedure where the truck windows are blocked with thermal curtains and the firefighters then attempt to wait out the fire from inside their trucks. Shit dude. The other driver panic. He throws his truck in reverse and slams into the front of the other fire truck. <laughs> can see flames as the fire literally burns over the fire trucks. Amazingly, not a single one of the firefighters were hurt in the incident. Damn, dude! Might not count as a scary thing caught on camera, so much as just a strange thing caught on camera. Or spooky. Some might argue it's spooky. A very fake thing. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Might be fake. But dude, that forest fire shit! What the hell? Those those flames were those flames were at least like twenty feet high, and it just goes straight over the truck. Holy shit, dude! Here, the teleporter. Like that truck right there? There's a truck there. In this clip, watch the side of the approaching black van. This video was posted with the claim that it showed someone teleporting caught on video. Now, some viewers have argued that the man in the clip jumps from the bridge above. It looks like he fell out the window. Some argue that he jumps out of the car window. And some just say that the whole thing has been visually manipulated. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that a fake teleportation video from Asia has shown up on the internet. Some famous fake teleporter videos from Asia. Oh, let's go back. I want to see them all. And some just say that the whole thing has been visually manipulated. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that a fake teleportation video from Asia has shown up on the internet.
what? What's your analysis? Okay. Is this ten ten? I mean, those other ones are pretty fucking good. I mean, she's up somewhere, and then she From just Asia has shown a up truck on the appears. What the hell is that? The internet. Someone could have edited that out, running, and then ran back, but he raced. And then that's supposed to be the same person? That doesn't, that doesn't look like the same person. Oh shit. This man and his wife were driving through the woods on a back road in Victoria, Australia. Oh shit, dude. So even if you sped up to miss that first tree, you probably would have got hit by other trees. As a freak windstorm rolls through, it almost takes out the whole forest right in front of them. Shit, dude. Damn, man. Oh. Manages to sidestep just in time, but sometimes you just can't be that lucky. In Centerville, Iowa, Officer Jeremy Veach has pulled over a driver for not having headlights on. Centerville 128, I need officers to respond. First unit down here. Damn. But those the people. The people in the car, that's, that's... Eee, shit, they could have been hurt on, on that. They probably are hurt from this. That guy, luckily, he was just pushed down because he could still keep going down. If you're in that seat and that thing just hits the top of your head, where are you going to fucking go? Astonishingly, Officer Veach only suffered minor injuries to his left leg. Otherwise, he... I thought that would have done more damage to the car, too. Like, straight through it. To respond. I need people to uh, do stuff. <laughs> driving through Dagestan, Russia, spots what looks like a dust storm on the horizon. But as he gets closer, he Russia? discovers that it's something much more bizarre. It's fucking Russia, dude. Russia's uh, Russian Russia's been changed. Russia's a, a, a whole new place now. It's not winter all the time over there because of these freak heat waves. Man is actually driving through a swarm of hungry locusts so thick that it almost blocks out the sky. His car dash cam captures the whole strange event. Shit, dude. Now, most ancient religious texts refer to plagues of locusts as being a curse on the land, and for good reason. This infestation of locusts in Russia covers an area of over 270,000 square miles. The locusts eat their own weight and food every day, stripping the land of crops and vegetation and leading to famine and complete devastation. A locust swarm of this size can eat the same amount in a day as thousands of people, leaving nothing behind but barren land. Shit, that's crazy, dude. 